And speaking of drinking, National Tequila Day. Yeah, that's a thing. It's coming up on the 24th of this month, so we thought it would be fun to get our summer on with a new cocktail idea. How do boozy popsicles sound? Um, yes, please. Um, to help us with this fun and whip up these new recipes, here's Luis Lopez from Milagro's Tequila brand. Today, I will be making two cocktails. The first one's gonna be Dreamsicle. It's a play on a creamsicle. Ooh. Yes. The second one will be a fun under the sun. It's a boozy paleta. All right, so let's try, the, how do you make a creamsicle? I've never made one. A rather very easy to uh, anybody that wants to make one at home. But we start off with uh, two parts of Milagro Reposado, which you have right there. So let me go ahead and get that started. Smells Take great. those notes. Toasty is a proper verbiage on that one. So let's go ahead, two parts. And now we move over to half part fresh squeezed lemon juice. Ooh. Yeah, I already pre-squeezed it, so I'm not doing that here. Uh, and then we move on to uh, some fresh orange juice. So we're gonna do two parts orange juice to lengthen out the, the size of the cocktail. Right in there. And uh, we have to add two ounces of cream or half and half, it's a matter of preference. So two parts of that right in there. And mix, at this point, we've got to make sure that we give it a nice shake to build a nice froth on this cocktail. There's already ice in here. You don't see it, but it's ready to go. Okay. Oh, look at that skill with the shaking. Uh, there it is. This is an inspiration on me being a 90s kid and getting a, an ice cream from the ice cream truck. It reminds me also of an orange Julius. Did you ever have an orange Oh, Julius? my goodness. So that's... That's kind of like another thing we could uh, decide to call it. I called it a drinkable, but Orange Julius would be exactly what you would be tasting in this glass. I have got to try that. That sounds so good. Beautiful, and you just garnish it with a nice little orange peel. That's beautiful, and it's easy to make and impressive to see. So you could actually, anybody could make that up. That's so great, I love it. <laughs> And I'm a big fan of Reposado. I always feel like it, it is smoother than anything else. But I did try the silver, which is also smooth. And are you going to use this to make the next drink? We use uh, Milagro Silver, which is 100% uh, of Blue Weber Agave, and it's made in the highlands of Jalisco. It is two parts Milagro Silver, two parts strawberry, which I actually already blended it up and blended it with fresh orange juice that I squeezed. So at this point, you have nearly three quarters of the cocktail built. And finally, you add a little bit of uh, agave, a uh, quarter part agave, and add a little bit of water. Why is this? Well, because I built it, and then we need to freeze it. And because the uh, alcohol does not freeze, we need to add a little water to make this delicious thing called a paleta. And this beautiful thing is what I explained right now. Okay. And what I'm gonna do, gonna open that for you, put this to the side, and voila. We so have a boozy paleta. You made that in a shaker. You didn't have like, cause we had, where do we, we had like popsicle things to make, but you made that right in a shaker. This is, uh, I guess this is, a, no, so I'm gonna tell you, it came out of the shaker, but I did use a plastic cup as a mold. Ah. And I got creative and, uh, you know, built, used my imagination and I figured I was talking about it and you're, you could technically build this cocktail. So. If you take out the water in this cocktail and don't freeze it, it's actually a delicious cocktail. Sippable. Okay, it sounds good either way, but I really like that little point about having to add a little water if you're ever gonna make a frozen cocktail because of the alcohol not freezing. Before I let you go, can you just do me a favor? Because you had mentioned that the word to describe the reposado is toasty. Will you tell us the difference between the silver and the reposado? Yes, absolutely. So uh, let's start with the silver because it's uh, the younger one. So the silver is actually unaged. It has not seen a barrel. It's made out of 100% blue Weber agave. And you're gonna definitely get some crisp, bright notes to it, which we like to say the brighter side of tequila. Mm -hmm. And you might get some pear, some citrus, but definitely some presence of the agave. That is the main uh, idea on behind the silver. Yes. Yeah. And then if I go ahead and I lead you over to the reposado, which reposado in Spanish just means rested, the reposado is aged for two to four months in American oak barrels, which is also known as whiskey barrels. So if you, you know, admire that atmosphere, that beautiful golden straw hue to it, yeah, uh, you're gonna notice that, oh, there you see, you see it. 
clear difference. Very, very subtle, but you see the difference and you definitely smell the difference. You're gonna get like some toastiness to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then uh, potentially some peppery. And at this point, you know, it's about like what you, you pick up as answers. There's no right or wrong answer. It's just about, you know, enjoying your specific situation and make sure you're having a good time with Milagro Tequila. You bet I'll have a good time. Luis and Milagro Tequila have shared the recipes, and we're going to have all those on our website. And since I didn't get to try them myself, coming up later in the show, I'm going to play bartender and whip up that dreamsicle cocktail, creamsicle. And we're going to have the popsicles, the boletas. So stick around for that.